This is Drom Shekasuto. Shalom superheroes, I hope everything is well by you. I truly hope that everything is um, wonderful at your place, at your life, um, under this uh, crazy, crazy um, world of illusions and imaginations and uh, and so many coverings and blockings of of the truth of, of of reality something that we find so hard to recognize in uh, in most of our life in most of, of the days of our lives it's a uh, it's not simple to understand how the system works and how the world works and how people are are dealing with it every time like every person is going through so so many challenges in life and trying to figure out what's the creator's will and what Hashem wants from us and every individual is seeking for answers and if you go to books if you go to search for wisdom for information like so many times the messages are uh, contradicting each other like one time you understand, all right, I need to put all my effort, and then you put your effort to a certain direction, and then something is holding you back, and you say, all right, I, I must relax now. Like every time that you you have those those lights coming from from different directions and and pulling you from from the nose, do this, do that, go there, go there. In the end of the day, we must understand the world. The word world in the ancient language of Hebrew means Olam says we say Ola, Olam now Olam is is a word that represents another concept except of the meaning the simple meaning of the word world it's also coming from the word He'elem it's coming to to hide something to disappear to 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 cover something to hide now what is it hiding it's hiding the the creator's existence that's what the world is is all about the world is blocking the light of hashem because one moment before creation there was there was no world only the truth was revealed to us all because we were all one and the light that has been sent the godly light that has been sent to this world been sent to the inner core behind the curtains of of physicality so all of our inner feelings and all of our senses are working from 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 a cell from a prison from the exile from there we're trying to relate to communicate with a real outside world means the world of beyond the ancient world the world of above the world to come heaven garden of eden um, the 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 it's called atika kadisha the holy ancient time and we can't do it like it's it's a struggle it's a lifetime struggle and people are dying in that battle and people are sick in that battle and people are going through so many difficulties and challenges in 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 this in this path and and because that we experience the world through our own individual um cells vehicles bubbles everyone go through his life through a certain inner time tunnel that through his eyes and ears and and senses he experienced the world from his point of view so we don't realize we find it hard to grasp that the world is a creation what do i mean we all experience our individual issues like all right i'm thirsty i'm hungry i need to go I, oh i got that phone call i must do this i must do that all those thoughts are pulling our attention to the to the mundane 
things that are taking place in our lives to the regular things like oh no, I need to do this I need to do that like they're trapping you under the limitation of time they're stucking you in a fake reality of existence as a person when really in reality you are part of something much greater than your individual life that are tiny and with no lack of respect to what that we're going through we are going through deep things meaning meaningful things but also a hamster that is finding his living in in a field in Kansas looking for corn um, seeds like if his stuck if his leg is stuck in 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 the fence so he's he's like his life is also meaningful like it's also a deep and big and, and like for him it's life like if there's a snake on his tail so like there's an issue over there like all of, all of the world is dark now and like he needs to find a way out from 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 this from this problem that is the deepest understanding that a person should have in life to understand the world is a creation the world is not only my life experience there are many worlds that are taking place in the same time and all of them together are being supervised by the creator there is a big complete picture that reveals all the information above the limitations of time and space and much deeper than our mind can grasp and hold and understand every concept in in this world is a creation for an example the creator when he created heaven and earth let's say the sky let's choose the sky so it's not only that all right what a wonderful day it is here i can see the sky I can show you the sky all right that's my sky when you look at your window out of your window you see you see your sky over there in a different hour of the day sunrise sunset it's not only that it's not only your sky it's also all the sky that been illustrated in children books it's all the sky that been painted and illustrated by by children in kindergartens and not only today it's also the sky that the ancestors were looking at when they were praying to heaven when moses was standing and shooting his prayers to to the sky it's also when abram looked at the sky when he went out of the cave when he was three years old it's also the word sky in all the books that have been written in all the languages it's all the stories that all the the nations are telling uh, based on their culture and based on on their um, their uh, traditions all the stories that holds sky in them are included in that word sky and the same in the word stone earth water fire and tree leaf car vehicle everything is is not only what you experience about it oh i'm stuck with my car no cars is an issue like cars is is not a simple thing vehicles is something very deep in creation like you have so many stories about car like cars saved lives of people but people also died in cars and not only in your life story also in different states in different like in every city in every village on every road and not only in our generation also like our our fathers and our grandparents and their parents as well like there were cars over there and there was the first car and different cars and people tried and like the world is deep and the world is deep and meaningful and we are part of something much greater and deeper and higher than than we can grasp and understand and we must throw our narrow-minded super blocked and sealed mind and to climb to a higher level of awareness and understanding and by that we can set ourselves free from the sorrow of the tiny difficulties that we're going through in life even if they are very painful and severe 
because when you realize that you're something that you are part of something much greater than you can understand you can understand that this creation is not only a random uh, story of 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 coincidence and 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 situations that are taking place in your life oh oh they're knocking on the door i don't know what's going to happen they're calling i should i answer not there is a plan your soul is ancient and it spent tens or hundreds or thousands of years already in this world and you're coming and recreating again recreated again to come down to this world in a new lifetime and another time once you came to this world 500 years ago and then you came to the world again uh, 200 years ago and here you are here again and same souls and spirits that that were there with you in a different lifetime are surrounding you also today but in different roles in different positions to achieve a certain completion in your relationships and to go through certain tests that are needed and required for your completion and it's deep and it's very very deep and why is it important like why how how it's going to help my life like in which way it's going to save me what what is, does it going to give me it will give you the understanding that the world is about to rise to to a new dimension to the time of redemption to a higher level of of connection with the creator because for thousands of years the the world is blocking the heavenly light of the creator and since the moment of creation already humans like human's mind was distracted and they were not able to follow the inner light of of the creator and immediately they failed with lusts and desires angers and all kinds of of bad bad attributes and 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 there is an end to the exile there is a certain date there is a certain time that we're going to rise above and those challenges and and our awareness will be completely um one with the creator's um soul and spirit and then we will be completely nullified to his will and all the creation will become one again the creator and all of his creations will become one now there is something very deep in it and I wanted to, to mention that Mashiach, um, the Messiah, that um, when the Creator created Adam and Eve, so he sent himself to be dressed in, in bodies. All life forms in the creation are the Creator himself covered with with physicality like I said before we know there is nothing except of him and odd milvado there is nothing except of the Creator now the Creator himself that he is that one wanted to create a world because he wanted to reveal his love his goodness to his creations but there were no creations so he decided to make one how you're gonna make them he's gonna make them out of the material that he had what he had he had only himself so what he did he sent his own light into a certain he um, like to to he created the curtain he he built the world and sent himself to behind the scene to uh, to behind those curtains and then he cre by that he created the separation he separated a portion of himself and sent it to the world and those are us and that's life all life forms it's like an energy being channeled into a very complex um, um, system okay now life is in the f in the flowers in the grass it's in the sky it's in the food it's in animals it's in birds in fish 
in, in flies, in insects, in, in, in atoms, between the atoms, in human beings, in the nations, in people's eyes, in ears, in hearts. It's, it's the life spirit of creation. It's God Himself. That is the Creator. And He runs the world from within. Now, what does it mean that He runs the world from within? That if we're going to understand in a deeper way who we are, if we're going to investigate and find out the truth about our being, about our existence, we're going to find Hashem. You're going to find that Hashem lives inside of you means that you are Hashem. That you are Hashem. That you, you are Hashem Himself. Your spirit is, is, a, is a godly portion. Is a chelak eloka mimal. That's that's who, that's who you are. Just, just pay attention to your soul and understand that the verse is saying, "Tzadik Moshe liraat elokim." The righteous man, he's the one that rules God. He's the one that leads Hashem, the Creator. The Creator is asking. The Gemara is telling us. The Talmud is telling us that Hashem is saying on that verse Tzadik Moshe Lirat Elokim who is leading me who controls me the righteous man there is a righteous man highest form he himself is the highest way that the creator dress himself himself in his creation and that righteous pers person he is the Mashiach he is the Messiah and he himself is the one that is leading the Creator toward the complete redemption. He and no one else. And everyone else like us, we are giving him power. We are giving him energy by supporting him, by helping him, by loving him, by praying for him. We are giving him the strength to be who he is means to lead Hashem means to call Hashem and to convince Hashem and to tell Hashem and to pull Hashem and to bring Hashem back to the light from His hidden place, from the place that He's hiding at. And it's wild and, and we need to, to, to understand the greatness of, of this person's mission and, and to look for Him, the ones that are close to Him. Sometimes you can know a, 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 a person only by his surroundings. For an example, how will you recognize the king when he's uh, when he's going on his travels? How are you going to know that that's the king? Because you see chariots and chariots driving and running and ahead of him, soldiers running on horses with and and protecting and closing the roads. Like how how are you going to recognize? the king because you see his surroundings and you say oh look and his generals are dressed so well like whatever so if his generals are are so strong and powerful so him for sure he's much even greater than that like you wouldn't recognize him if the king now will stand in t-shirt and jeans you won't recognize that it's a king it's hard even Shmuel, the prophet, he went to find King David. He looked at all the children of Yishai, the father of, the, of King David, and he thought that all of them were King David. Like that they will be, the, the they are the, 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 one, the chosen one to be the king. He mistaked in all of them. He chose all of them for King David. You cannot recognize King David just like that. Oh, yeah, I see. No, you, you don't see. You don't see. And not in Judaism, and not in Islam, and not in Christianity. Everyone are shaping the, 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 the one that they desire to be the Mashiach in their shape. Like, if a person is Afro-American, so for him, he assumes that, that, that the Mashiach is supposed to, to have dark skin it's like it's more comfortable a jewish person like mashiach must be jewish for him like a, a mormon christian the mashiach must be mormon like it cannot be that the mashiach like you every person is like that like a, an egyptian person a muslim person like it it must come from Allah. It cannot come from so, like it like everyone is is forcing reality in his way but
But this is the power of imagination. There is a real Mashiach, not your fake one, not the one that you desire. You desire someone that 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 you'll feel comfortable with, but Mashiach, the real Mashiach, will have the power to to be in touch and to be attached and, and to be connected to to every single one. Like when he will come you will not care if he has dark skin or bright skin, if he's an English speaker or Chinese, like you, you're not, you're not gonna mind. You just, you, you're gonna see the light that is shining from him. That you're gonna love him so much that you, you're just gonna say like, I want to hear him. Like I don't care. Like, where's the translator? Like I, you won't care. You're gonna see the light that is shining from his face. That, that you, that you will drop all your nonsense. That you're just gonna understand. Listen, I, I need to follow that man. And it's written that if the nation of Israel would have known how much the Creator loves them, so they would chase him, means follow him like lions. So it means that if you want to follow someone, you cannot sit on your couch like like I'm sitting on my couch and, and, and wait for the redemption to take place. You need to bring that day. You need to follow him like lions. Like that it's written in, in Shir HaShirim that King Solomon wrote, Moshcheni acharecha narutza. When you pull me after you, when you make me follow you, you pull, you're, you're pulling me. Acharecha narutza. So we're running after you. Means that when Hashem is pulling you, you're running. You are running. You are moving yourself your butt, your legs, and you start moving yourself. You are moving, you are running. And that's how Hashem is pulling you. Hashem is not pulling you in a heavenly way. Suddenly you fly on a kite to, to, to the mountains of pleasure, um, like uh, over the rainbow where bluebirds fly. No. You want to do good, you need to run. You want to do good, you need to, to, to wake up early. You want to you wanna achieve certain things, you need to make them happen. No one will do it for you. No one will do it for us. No one will do it for me. Every single one of us must put all his power into bringing the redemption. You need to bring the redemption to your beloved ones. You need to pray for them. You need to, to make every possible effort that you can to make it happen in their lives and in the lives of, 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 of all your surroundings and to fight and to argue and to talk and to pray and to work and to give advice and to share links and videos and, and to sponsor and to support holy organizations or, or poor people that you know that really needs your help. And, and, and you need to do as much as you can, as much as you can. As much as you can in prayer, spiritually and physically, in your mind, in your learning, in your conversations, in every way that you can. That's the only way. Now, Mashiach is the highest and most divine form, means the less covered uh, that is shining the light of the Creator and reveals the Creator's light. So let's hope that He will come soon, that we'll be able to, to learn from Him and to accept His, his words. Thank you so much, fundraiser that uh, that we're making um, for down payment for a center place for us to be um, here in the state of New York while we're here in the U.S. There is so much to do, and you know, I'm able to to do the best that I can when my mind is is troubled and bothered, and and when we're running like crazy every night driving to a class over here and over there like from Muncie to to five towns to to Brooklyn to like all the time to classes in Manhattan it's every place is two hours drive is one hour and a half drive and and Baruch Hashem and I'm thankful to heaven that my family are with me and those travels are are very complex and and we must have a place of our own that we relax our mind over there and and to and to bring students and to teach them and to give those guidings and those amazing and inspiring teachings 
And I need your support for that. And I'm asking for your support, your kind support. And even if you gave already, I'm asking you to give more. You don't know how much I'm giving. And we're giving it and we're receiving it back. It's hiring, it's, it's rising the, the quality and the amount of the content that we're able to produce. And it saves the lives of, of people, yourselves and, and your beloved ones that you know that also been affected and enjoyed um, in a positive way from, from our content and from the things that we create and make. If it's the books, the CDs, if it's the booklets, if it's the short clips, the long lectures, all those things are, 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 are hard to create. All those things are, are very complex. And we're doing the best that we can and we need your help. So I'm asking you please to help us to support our work financially in every amount as, as you're able to put your hand into your pockets to the to as as much as deep as your pockets go to to support us and to help us and to bring those spirits and those souls back to life we're making people life again we're making people um coming back to life from such sad and broken places and uh, and it's a it's a, a very noble cause and a very important and great charity, it's Dhaka. And I'm asking your help in a very honest and sincere way because we need it and it's important for the completion of salvation of our world and for the respect and greatness of the Creator. Let's do it together with a happy heart and a wishing soul. Thing. And you need to listen to Nachman's classes online. Nachman is teaching, right? Nachman, what's the name of your channel? Simple Torah. Simple Torah. So if you want to learn Simple Torah, you need to look for Simple Torah videos um, on YouTube, right? And also I'm posting the links on our Dror Moshe Kasuta page on Facebook. And today you recorded another video, right? Yeah. What were you talking about? Um, I was talking about them. Um, a rabbi that uh, the the not Jewish person tried to say bad thing about him to the king, and then the, he went to the king, told him, and then the king understood that the other person is bad and he killed him. Oh wow! <laughs> Talking about justice, right? <laughs> Talking about justice, tzedek. Yes. Yeah. That the Creator helps those ones that deserves it. May the Creator bless us all as one to always be happy and to be powerful and not to back off and to know that in our hands there is an enormous power to bring light down to the world. Pray for yourselves and pray for us. Pray for the redemption to come. Convince Hashem to climb out from His exile to reveal Himself and His goodness to His people and that the redemption will take place in no time. Amen. 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 Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.